Guys, this engine block is incredible. That is a billet engine block from Crest CNC and I will show you the difference between a CNC engine block and a EJ257 from stock, the EJ20 from stock and the old EJ20 close deck which are very popular in Great Britain and around the world. But in this video I will show you why it is maybe a good investment to buy a CNC engine case when you want to drive a lot of horsepower. Yes, let's go. Let's start with the main facts. So, it is a billet engine case with a much better material than the original cast engines. The hardness of the material is over 100 barrel. The original engine case have something about 80 barrel. That means the material is very soft and can go out of shape pretty easy. So, in my opinion, one of the biggest pros for the CNC engine. So, then, the oil gallery. I will show you. That you see here, that all oil channels have an optimized flow. You see here are no hard edges or something like this that is in the whole engine case like this. And that's pretty good because when you have their hard edges or something like this, you have gravitation. And I will show you how it looks like on a stock engine. So here you can see in the stock oil channel these pretty hard edge. That's not good for the oil flow and that's in the complete engine like this. And on the TNT engine is it totally smooth and super flowy. The next pro is that here complete around the sleeve is standing much more material and stiffer material than on the stock engine. Extreme you can see it here at the Sun EJ257 engine case. This sleeve here is easy 7 mm thick. On the uh, original EJ257 maybe 1.5 mm or something like this. That's why often the engine has so often gasket problem because here at the top when you drive much boost or a lot of RPMs the thin cylinder walls start to vibration or bubbling and then the head gasket can seal correct. So here at the TNC block you can see it that are easy 5-6 millimeters. That's a pretty fat sleeve. One of the biggest problems of the stock Subi engine is that the main journal goes out of shape and the guys from Crest TNC have an awesome idea. Install at the bottom of the main journal here screws. You see the big imbo screws that makes the main journal much stronger. The engine case comes instant with 14 mm head start conversion. If you want to drive more than 500 horsepower, you need these big studs. Okay, let's open the engine case and we will check how it looks from inside.
Okay, yes, you have seen the main journal is double screwed and pinned and the material is uh, much better than the stock one. So, in my opinion, that's the ultimate engine. For all guys who want to go for really, really big horsepower in the Subi, that is the exactly right block for you. When you maybe take a stock engine and will sleeve it, then you always have the problem with the main journal and the material. Do it one time with the right case, uh, then I'm pretty sure you will be happier. And the price of this beautiful piece of engineering will be something about 9000 euro. And um, if you have any question to this, let me know, write me an email. The email is down below. Yes, and if you like my videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe because uh, in the next days we will start with this engine case, an uh, epic engine build. That will absolutely incredible and so make sure that you subscribe so that you don't miss this epic build. So guys, thank you for watching and uh, I hope you have a good weekend and we see you in the next video. Ciao!